Lark Bunting with my co-host today for Best of the Outdoorsers. This is Little Indigo. Indigo Bunting, say hello. Yeah. How do we protect the future for our little ones? Well, me and Red look in. Can I talk for a second at all? It's like working with Red. It's the exact same. We'll look into that on this Best of the Outdoorsers. Are you about ready? I was born ready. <sighs> Come with us, we're the outdoorsers, and we'll explore nature and the great outdoors. We'll be hiking and biking, fishing, hunting, camping, and maybe even putt putt too. Come with us, cause we know it much better than you do. The Outdoorsers with Red Snapper and Lark Bunting. They can't look. I'm hidden by the, this, and now they probably can't even hear me because that's ringing. So. Ringing the bells, yeah. yes. That's nice, though. That's a nice sound. See, you could stand there, and the birds will come here and sit on here, and they won't even see you. Yeah, because you're hiding behind everything. Makes for uh, worse TV than it does for bird entertainment, probably. <laughs> you know, but we're just playing here. Uh, this wind chime, see, it has on top of it a little bird, either feeder or bath. You could put bird seed or water in there and they'll they'll get in it that bird won't scare away the other birds right unless unless this thing here starts if he gets too rantankerous there you go see that's all things you can plan for in your yard and this here you know you got a lot of birds can get on here at once two on this side here's one See, they'll, uh, they'll jump on there all at once, eat and have a party. This side, uh, there's a spring on here also. Very, very important. Oh, and there's a spring over here. What that's saying is, this is good in the spring, see? But look at the leaves falling. It's also good in the fall. You can use it at least twice a year. Yeah. And, see it right here, there's, there's two and there's one, and then there's two again. So that tells you some are on there and some aren't. So you can use it in the summer so there's too. Summer it's a also. trick for people that probably couldn't read or don't know any better. Yeah, yes. And then you got your pretty sound there too. This is a good, what these here are called shepherd's hooks. And I don't know, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's grab one, grab that one there. Oh. And we'll use it as a visual. I'll get it. Actually, probably should have grabbed it. <laughs> ah! Hush these things up here. And then we'll take this off, put it somewhere, I don't know. Good place. Now look at this, this is a shepherd's hook, and I'm going to hold it toward the camera in, in a 3D fashion. Now look here, that's, that's the, what they call the crook. There's two of them on this. The that's, crook of the hook. Yeah, and that's what, what they would do is if somebody was trying to steal a sheep, the shepherds back in the day, they'd grab him with that. You could get two of them at once. Yeah, and they'd grab him and say, whoa, there, don't be stealing sheep. Bad boy. Now look here. I'll, I'll flip it over. Look up the other side of this shepherd's hook. People don't show this in pictures of Christmas and stuff, but look at that. Yeah, that's what that's saying is, hey, oh yeah, I, I got you with the other end. You want this end too, buddy? You know, like that or, or whatever. We could have used this in our Christmas program because that's the letter H for a yard display or whatever. But those shepherds back in the day, they had it going on. And what they probably did was they didn't sleep near that, see? They probably slept somewhere away from it because they didn't want to get poked. And that's why they were so afraid, see? Because they didn't have it right with them. Right. This is the yard. It's a nice little, looks like Mr. Miyagi's backyard a little bit, doesn't it? It, it does, with all the flowers. All the bird feeders. 
you can't see the old cars parked back over there, but that's, that's what we got the feeling of here. But we're just showing you from this specific yard the general things you can do in any yard. Yeah, and don't be frightened with that word general. It, it doesn't mean what you might think that it does. No, no, it's referring to military. Like uh, from, from on top, the, the person who makes the decisions decides what to do in the yard. That's right. What we have here is a classic example of a bird feeder. Now, if, if you could see the sides, you could see where there is clear plastic or glass. It's not glass because the birds can and maybe break it. They might. That's plexiglass probably, isn't it? Is it? Is it plexus? Yes. And doesn't break. So what you do is then you fill this up. Boy, I wish you could see the sides here, but I'll have to, there's a little opening at the bottom here where the birds sit down right here, and then there's an opening here. So when you want to fill this up, then you take the food and shove it underneath there. Boy, I wish you could see the side. You can probably see though where they perch. They sit here, and birds aren't that big. Now, if a crow came here, we'd be in trouble. Oh, know? gosh, you'd have to run. But a bird can perch there and get that, you know, but it has to balance. There's a lot of balance involved. There is, and that's why it's hanging like this, so that it can balance. Yep. Now, depending on the type of bird food you put in there is a the type of birds that'll come to this feeder. Too. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, and, and so they'll, like, different kinds of, a cardinal likes a certain food, blue jay, Blue Jays eat about anything. Oh, They're contagious. Yeah. They oh, just, okay. They take everybody's food, you know. Uh, robin. Uh, now, robins, if you get the, robins bring bats, though, you see. You don't, if you don't want bats around, yeah. don't bring robin food in here. Not good. And uh, that, so I, I don't know what the exact ones are. You, you can look it up, you know, but uh, they, you, they do. You could put oats in here and, and then get horse flies if, if you wanted to feed them. Yeah, and maybe if you put it in the way in the backyard, you'll get them away from your house then. See, they'll go to that They'll instead. go to there. Mm -hmm. Now you can see the bird feeders. You can see a fire pit. You can't see the stone for the stone soup because Lark's in front of it. But just trust and believe that it is there. You can see the grass. Of course, the yard needs mowed, but... We're not doing that today. <laughs> You're right. We're going to avoid that. But uh, you should do it, you know, uh, as, as much as you can. We might so, polish a car. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes they uh, let it grow up right before the fall because you'll just mow it that one last time and then it mulches. See? You didn't do that very well. Okay, here we go. Well, that was... Uh,